making her way to the ring from China, representing Destroyers of Anatomy, one half of the Wing Records. She is the arm cracker, Jian Li Wei. And her opponent, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, one half of the Bludgeoneers. She is the Nasty Dragon, Kei Hasu. The referee for this match, Drew Woodward. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome. I am your host, Cedric Kennedy, here, Crashing Sea Storm Surge Tournament, Week Six, and I am having uh, volume issues because I think I found my niche and then it went overboard. So I am I am troubleshooting best that I can in real time. So sorry if I'm blowing out your eardrums and whatnot, but my voice has been very low on these shows so far. So, I am doing my best to improve it, just so you can hear me, you know, so I don't have to yell into the microphone and all that other stuff. So, y'all let me know how this is right here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it right here for now until I see my voice is too much in the red for a long period of time. But, uh, wow, you know what? We got a great, we got a great show. We got, uh, in our singles main event we have we've got the champion he's in action he'll be defending his rank one not the title but defending his rank one against tm squared the very person he def he, he gained that title from so we're going to see how all that turned out because she's been seeking revenge and she's been fighting hard to get there and she's earned it today Kyogen, he's coming up there. He's going after Hemlock at rank four. You got that. We've got Mungawa Bahari in, in singles action. She's going against Solar Flame in the mixed division. And we got right here the junior division. I mean, we got we got eight matches, all right. I'm telling everything. But this it's, it's gonna it's gonna be a good one. Crashing sees the tournament. It, I mean, it's clutch time. It is clutch time. There's some that just won't make it. Yeah, we get that. But right now, they're fighting to not be the lowest. And now, Jian Li Wen, right here, we're going to get into this junior match, going against the Nasty Dragon, Keihasu. Honestly, I, I wouldn't do it. Keihasu just cheat too much. That's all she do. It's just, it's just who she is. Well, you got a nice stiff arm close on like that. I don't know. You, you might stand a chance. You know, can you out damage their cheating? It's kind of what it boils down to. But Jian Li Wen derailed Tyrant's return. And you know, she's, a, she's a former champion. You know, Master of Four, um, Junior, and She's she's doing it up. And she's working Kehasu's arm. Kehasu, she's former tag team champion. You no know, nice deal right there. And she's gonna she's gonna work it. Oh, and okay. See the other half of the Bludgeoneers. That's Givi Maru. Because Chaos 2 ain't gonna try to do it on her own. I was wondering why there was nobody cornering her. I was wondering why. Because of this right here. You know, and I'm gonna tell y'all right now. John Lee Wynn is being as victimized as Jax Dane was on NWA USA. You know, I covered that. You can see that. You can hear me cover that on uh, Spreaker. You know, the link is down there at the podcast. Is what it says, and I say that because it's in all caps. But yeah, Jax Dane was victimized and whatnot, so he was treated wrong. A national heavyweight champion, 
but man, and see right now, Jian Lee Wynn, she's being highly victimized. Two on one advantage. And see, Gini Maru just saved her life. Because Kehasi tried that fire. Tried that fire. Boom! Queen Kong knee drop missed. That's what I call it when the females do it. Jian is like, I'm not done. And she got beat down. She got beat down, but she is she's still fighting. She looks strong. Multiple standing switches, elbow standing switches. Sleeper hold. And Drew Woodward calling for the break. To the top. Diving Queen Kong knee drop caught her right in, 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 the, in the bread basket. Going for the pin like she should. Two. And she got it. And your winner of the match is K Hasu. See, no, quit it, quit it. Drew Woodward, you rookie. Stop her. Just. And here she goes. Running her yeah. Running her yeah. She defended her rank three. She did good. All right. You know. It's all good. She's all good because she's going to do what she do. We got more action coming your way. We got Mungu Wabahadi. Let's roll. Making her way to the room. Haley from South Africa. She is the transcription. Mungu Wabahadi. And her opponent making her way to the ring from Russia, representing the one half of Dallas, Sola Lane. The referee for this match, Drew Woodward. Okay, everybody, Mungu Wabahadi has earned her way up to rank five. And now she's going after Solar Flame. That's at rank two. If she can get a win over Solar Flame, it will practically secure her. I mean, secure her for a title shot. Again. <laughs> Body slam, Solar Flame to the outside. And speaking about Galaxy, Solar Flame, on the road, for those that saw it, Moonlight, uh, she was in a hard fought battle. And somebody, someone came out and helped her. Didn't do a good job. Didn't do a great job, but help is help, I suppose. But, you know, I can tell by the clothing and, and whatnot, I, you know. I, you can see the family relation. You know, I'm, and Gear told me he's going to get an interview with him. Uh, so that that'll should be seen tomorrow. Oh, body blow! That was a that was a strong body blow right there, everybody. Oh, and she's lighting her up. She's like, I can throw them throw them hands too. Ooh, body blow from her. Hip toss from, from Mungu. Elbow drop to that knee. Wrenching on it. Solar Flame gets out of it. Solar Flame's been in contention for uh, the heavyweight championship here on TV about four times in her career. About, uh, five. Five times. She's... You know, vied and whatnot for the Master of Four Championship a few times, winning it once. So, I mean, it's. Whoo! Nice deal. Elbow drop right there to the body. That was a solid elbow drop. Back and forth. Body blows and tattoos. And the body blows one out. Elbow drop. A stiff right to the back of the neck and got her up. So the flames like give me that neck, middle of the ring, and I can tell you straight up, you don't want to be in the middle of the ring with either one of these females. You do not want to be in the middle because that is going to put them prime for any of their final moves, or at least their strongest. 
Yeah, those ropes, that's a savior right there, right now. And they're both catering to their strengths, which is just straight up power, beat down, and beat forward. And she's got, oh, desperate. She saw that coming. So Flame saw it coming. Elbow drop. Good. I mean, them solid elbow drops. Those, I mean, those heavyweight style elbow drops. So Flame got her up on the top rope. What she gonna do with it? Nope. Elbow. Bahati got her up. Body blow dropped her. And we've seen them score some knockouts, knocking the breath out of them and everything. One, two on that school girl. No. 20 minute time limit match, everybody. Singles matches are always 20 minutes. Ooh, right straight. Stunned her. Got her up. De Beer is special. Oh, Bahati got right up. I ain't gonna body slam. No, no, just regular body slam. My bad. She shoots on him. Solar Flame rolls her over. Back mount. Floats. Got her down. Nope. Double leg trip. Floats over. Knee strikes to the top of the head. Can Solar Flame weather this storm? Yes, she can. Because the Solar Flame got those standing knee strikes to the head. And that might have been a wrap. And, and Bahati knew that. Elbow to the back. Got her up. Bahati off those ropes. Man. Strong. Palm strike. And almost a hair's breadth from that three. So the flame got her up. And that's, that, that just might be it. That Aztec scoop brain buster. Two. Nope. And she calls that the prominence. But it did not it did not bring the match to it though. And she's got her up. Ooh, bat breaker. That Canadian bat breaker. Oh, right on the chair. Crucifix bomb right on the chair. Oh, and Bahari kicks out. Is she conscious? It's, oh, multiple body blows by Solar Flame. Goes behind standing switch. She got a trapped arm. German suplex. Hold two. No. They both know it's a state. Torture crap by Solar Flame. She's got that back bent up. And, and Bahati survives it. She survives. Elbow, 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 elbow to the chest. Turns her around. Nope, she decides to come off the ropes instead. Hit her with that stiff palm strike. Thank you, Liger. And three. And she wins it. Your winner of the match is Mungu Wabahati. Well, congratulations. That was a hard fought victory. That was hard fought. All right, we got a rematch coming to you right now, so let's roll. Making her way to the ring, Haley from South Africa, representing New Era Rising, one half of Sovereign Riptide. She's the ace goddess, Amanji Kasawoti. And her opponent, Haley from Germany. She is unquenched rage. Shadow Pharaoh. The referee for this match, Torgan Holden. Fight. All right, rematch time. Amanzi was not happy with what happened last week when the match was over. And Shadow was quite content with how it ended. And I wasn't happy with how it ended, but these two ladies, these women, these battlers, I mean, this is combat sport style wrestling right here. Work ethic combat style pro wrestling, and you're seeing it right here. And then go Pondo Lobro, he, he's out here to, to block life, who, well, talked her into having this rematch. And he was going to come out here, but Pondo decided to get in the way of that. And these two women are lighting each other up, and Monty dropped. Somebody had to drop after all of that. She's lighting her up. Man, she ate her up with them slaps. 
Just ate her up. Got that head control. Elbow. Jumping elbow. Slapped her up. Slapping her down. Toe kick. Trying to keep her distance best she can. Inside cradle by Ferros. Shadow was like, she is striking like cra crazy. Back elbow. And we've seen Shadow Ferros pull out knockouts like from nowhere. We, you know, we've seen it. She's, she's a former two-time women's champion. She know what she's doing in there. She's gotten victories over the best. Over the best. So, I mean, Amanzi, she can't, she can't slow off. She's got the battle. You know, no matter how tired she gets, she got to she gotta feign like she isn't. She got to lie to her body and fight forward. Irish whip. Amanzi with the elbow. Jumping fist drop. Mounted elbows to the face. Some people will, you know, opt to elbow the shoulder. But Amanzi, she, she, she's a face bludgeoner, so... Yeah, shoulders not happening. Multiple toe kicks in that tree of woe. Uh-oh. Tattoos and double slaps. Back and forth they go. Back and forth they go. The, the, the tattoos won, but shoulder knock. Shoulder knock down by Amanzi. Elbow. Off those ropes. Oh! Left bad knuckle punch. To the back of the head, German suplex hold from ground. Only a two count. Amanzi got her up. Irish whip off those ropes. Elbow. They're both catered to their strengths. Striking. Amanzi will pull out those edge crushes. Oh, sling blade. And I guess deny the cover or further attack. Multiple kicks to the body. And Ferro's. I mean, that's a rope break, ain't it? Okay. There's been a rope break. Oh! Spine buster. Got it. Floats, but nope. Those knee strikes, they in the ropes. Inside cradle. Just seem like they hit the ropes, but okay. Okay, I, I, I don't know anymore. And she just waylays her in the back of the head with that chair. And she's going to keep that small package on no matter what. In the ring now. Elbow. Go behind. Elbow to the back by Casaroti. Swinging sleeper, but they're in the ropes, right? Okay, they're in the ropes. Elevated underhook DDT. Vertical drop style. Make the cover. And no, Amazi kicks out. Swing a net breaker. Amazi can't follow up. Oh, she got her in the corner. Amazi got Shadow in the corner. She's climbing up top. Super Ace Crusher. Super Ace Crusher. Ghetto stretch. Center of the ring. Two. Three. And she got it. The winner of the match and now ranked three in the women's division is Amazi Casa Roti. Congratulations, girl. You did, okay, a modicum of revenge. But I'm sure Shadow ain't happy. And even though now you're past Shadow, you you know who's in the way. Vime Choleru. The quintessence of submission excellence. Have to see how this go. But we got heavyweights in action. Let's roll. Making his way to the ring. See our Fire Pro Road Tag Team Champion. Representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance and one half of Team DWA, Kaya Jin. And his opponent on his way to the ring. Representing Jail Without Order and one half of JW Lock. He's the co-leader. Him Lock. Your referee for this match, Torgan Holden. 
Okay, here we go, everybody. It's heavyweight, and they, they're going to close the singles matches. And uh, we've seen him, him lost. He suffered a loss to World. He did. You know, and Kai just like, you know what? Might as well take advantage of it. And besides, for rank 12 to 4, this, you know, this, that's what he do. Six rungs up. Actually, it was it was eight, and the others were already taken. Out of my control. <laughs> you go up. You don't go down. You go up. Up. Hammerlock body slam by him lock. Top wrist lock. Kaiju missed that kitchen sink. And jumping stomp to the arm there by Hemlock. Kaijin puts him down with that elbow. Ooh! He held that ankle to the elbow drop to the knee pit. Wrist clutch, body kicks. Over the shoulder arm breakers by Hemlock. They, they gonna dole it out. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. Neither one of them is somebody you need to have in the middle of the ring or at the corners. The safest thing you can do if you going against Hemlock and Kaiju needs to do this. Ooh, high angle German suplex. Two. Tiger Mask style German suplex. Oh. And now he's got that spinning toe hold. Terry Funk special. The low kicks. But you, you know, if Hemlock is getting on offense. You need to do your best to get to the ropes. Stay near the ropes. Staying down there in that corner or over at either, at either, in any corner, it don't matter. But they going back and forth. With the low kick, middle kick, and then the elbow to the face. And those, and that middle kick one. Oh, spinning back hook kick. Rolls him over. Two. No. Kaijin is just as beat up as Hemlock. Keep that in mind, everybody. But Kaijin right now, he's going, he's putting on a clinic. He is putting on a clinic. Hemlock is up. Oh, body kick. Stole on him. Off those ropes. Oh. That bicycle knee strike. That sets it up. Oh. He tried that front thrust kick but didn't work and now Hemlock is, is getting on offense jumping on that arm shoulder knock down Kaiju's in charge somersault leg drop hooks that leg slightly out the ropes and no Hemlock gets the shoulder up Ooh, middle kick and this is dangerous because if Hemlock injures Kaiju you know what we're going to do for the tag belt you know, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned, but I got to call this. Oh, bicycle knee strike to the back of the head. Kai just waiting on him. He's up. And nope, Hemlock knows better. He knows. Oh, good grief. A bludgeoning he gave. Oh, trick knee and that snap back thrust kick by Kaijin. Deep hook and got it. And he got it. And your winner of the match is Kaijin. Congratulations. And we getting to the this the main event of the singles. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing hierarchy and one half of the tag team tyranny. T M Squared. And her opponent representing focused aggression. He is the current reigning CR Fire Pro Heavyweight Champion. One half of this cross faction tag team CM United. Bajin.
The referee for this match, Van Perry. Okay, here they go, locking it up. And she getting started early. She wants revenge and, and she's like, look, get up there, beat him. She didn't want to... She didn't want to go against life. She didn't want to go get death pants. And she's like, I'm in range. I'm in striking range. And I'm definitely going to throw this blow. And that's what she's trying to do. If she can beat him, maybe can set him on that path of doubt. And she can right a wrong. I, I have to agree. Is righting a wrong? She's got the chance to do it. And Tia Square does not lose often. So she does have that in her corner. But Beijing, although his before was a little 50-50, he hasn't lost a match in a long time. The only ones he's lost to is World. That trip. Elbow to the back of the head. She slips out. Mount. Ooh! Backsplash got up. She got that sleeper hold on. We were trying to inch back to the ropes. Man, evaded the foot, and nailed a, a slap. And she, he trips her again. Rolls her over. And he's trying to get that right there. Yep. Elbow strikes right to the face. She rolls him over. She's prepared this time, I guess. And he, man, that lifting slam into a mount. She rolls him over, floats, pins him down, got him up, front net lock. He's got, oh man, pyramid driver already, that fisherman driver. Team Square, former road and uh, heavyweight champion on TV, that Aztec Kemba Clutch. And Jean Seishizaki's submission. Don't know if he innovated it, but he popularized it. Oh, shoulder block. Goes right into the, the pin. And whoa, she survives. She just kicks out. Just got the shoulder up. Knee to the body. Got him down. Sleeper choke on the mat. Got that deep. Got that deep. But he got, he got out. Oh, he's looking. Yeah, messed up. Chopped him right in the throat. Caught the face it seemed at one point. Elbow right to the face. And he surrenders. And your winner of the match is T. Oh, he's fighting back. Your winner of the match is T. M. Square rolls her over. The match is over. And she's jockeying for position. She's jockeying. She's trying to get him down. Yeah, they're ringing the bell. That this this ain't over. They, they this this ain't over. They yeah, he's gonna want some get back. I can see that now. But she just claimed rank one in the heavyweights. We're going to get the crashing seas now. Let's roll. Making their way to the ring. From parts unknown. Catching altitude. First, he is the sky reacher. Climber. And his partner, the airtime abuser, Canopy. And their opponent, Thunderhand. First, the Wild Coyote, Mohan Bronson, and his partner, also representing Pain and Agony Wrestling. He is the Tree Splitter, Calvin Bronson. The referee for this match, the Larry. Okay. The, um hey look, they are uh let's 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 not mince any words. They are um arguably the lowest. The peacemakers actually is are tied with catching altitude at three points. Um so right now if catching altitude win, then both teams will be higher than peacemakers. Um, there's no shot at them 
winning this or tying or anything. The best that they can do now is probably be a roadblock at some point. Uh, but, you know, the idea is to, to, to battle on no matter what. You know, see it to the very end no matter what. And that, you know, that gains my admiration right there. That gains it. And they're going to they gonna battle. They're going to fight. Because the idea is, is a little bit of ego. Don't want to be last. Do not want to be last. Toe kick. Found his mark. Irish whip. Catching altitude uh, has had their biggest issue with teamwork. Being a cohesive unit that's been their biggest biggest flaw they haven't done that uh, another flaw that they have had is that they don't cut the ring off in the last match where they won you saw that at the last two three minutes they showed tag team expertise so I mean however this is gonna go we'll Maybe they're getting their act together because keep in mind, even after this, they're on the road. Double drop kick by catching altitude. That nice flying exchange, I like that. Try to find a way to jock, change position, keep your opponent off kilter. You know, Climber, he does that. Body blow. Oh, he, he got tattoos. Wards off that double team. Calvin does. Toe kick. Falling fist drop. Chop. But to make it so the canopy, um, <laughs> she's she's gonna have to tag soon from the damage that she's taking. And that's not good seeing that Climber just got out of the ring. And it's not necessarily what you would think the opening parts of the match. Because Calvin is handling it like this, it's, it's the end game right here. Like, I, I got you weak. I got you in trouble. And I'm going to beat on you until you leave. That's how he's operating. Double drop kick by CA. And he follows her right over. Shoulder block. Oh, kick. Yeah, that woke him up. Now he's like, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to tag, you know. That thing I was trying to do. Oh, caught him. Just caught him off the ropes. Back body drop. Now Calvin gets out the ring. Mohan is in. Up kick. Tag made to Canopy. Not gonna lie, y'all. Sorry, Yami. It's 6:50 p.m. and it has been a rough couple of days for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hang in there. I'm trying to. Hang in. You probably can't tell by my voice, but I'm, I'm struggling. I'm, I'm more than struggling. I'm struggling. I'm, I'm struggling over here. I'm, I'm straight up struggling. Uh, but that don't mean I ain't gonna call this match. And the next two, I got to get this done so I can get it rendered for you my goal. It's my job. It's my pleasure. It's what I'm doing. Oh, cravat. No, he ain't going to give up. He ain't going to give up. Not, not, right. At least Climber's not all bad off. Canopy, I would say she's bad off. Good grief. Hammering him. And now shot him to the outside. Not going to follow up? Okay. Shoulder arm ringer. Shoulder thrust. I thought it was gonna go tag. Nope. Mohan got Mohan got the head control. Put him down. Walks up on him. Camel clutch. Canopy comes in. Not a save. Sunset flip. Chop. Caught it. It was a good one too. Standing STO dragon screw. Mohan got a quick. Makes the tag the canopy. And Calvin just saved his brother. S 
standing moonsault. Elbow. I I don't. I really can't pick a winner out of this. Right now, both teams. You know what? If any team deserves to win, from what I've been seeing, it would definitely have to be Thunderhand. Because they're the ones that's trying to keep the ring cut off. They're the ones complimenting each other very well at every given turn that they can get. Captain Altitude isn't doing any of that. Oh, see the camel clutch. And see, all the way across town. That's a long journey to get there. And it gives you the, the, oppos the, the opposition or the current attackers time to, to block. And she got that flying Juju going. Juju got to me. Man, shot on her. Nope, she rolls it over. She's going to find a way to get that cross arm breaker on. Can she get? Nope. That would have been a great time. Uchiguroshi. Uh oh. Oh, she interrupted that. She interrupted that with a Hurukarana infiltrator. STF. Alright, she off the road. No. Tag is made. Tag made. Was off a double team. Elbow. Standing move. Salt. Two. Man, he got that turkey wrap on. But <laughs> damage has been done to the leg, but I'm not going to say a lot. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Oh, what's he doing? He comes out. Shotgun drop kick. Climber put him across the ring and more, more hands out there now. He's going after him. Can't be in there sacrificing himself. Taser chop or multiple tomahawk chops. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, diving elbow drop. Climbers in. Canopy is not in a good position. Multiple tomahawk or taser chops. Rolls him over. Canopy gets back in. Moving a little slower, but she interrupts the count. Russian leg sweep by the native born. Sky Twister press from the top. And he got it. He got it. And you're winners of the match. Catching altitude. I did not see that coming. Congratulations. Well then, y'all. Y'all y'all go up to six points. Y'all go up to six points. All right, we get going. They they pulled it out the fire. They pulled it right out the fire. We got more. We got two more matches. Let's roll. Making their way to the ring. The peacemaker. First from the United States of America. She's the gravity betrayer. Volantes, Nibu, and her partner. From parts unknown, the dark villainous, Harkaloos Ludetru. Yeah. And their opponent, representing Hierarchy, Warrior of the Deity. First, the Matriarch, and her partner from India, Servant of the Deity. Tiger Lee! Your referee for this match, Mr. Senior Junior. Okay, oh, okay, Harker was starting off quick. Shot by Tiger Lee. We ain't gonna let it get away with all that. And I mean, and she tearing them eyes up. I don't know. She digs in deep with them eyes. I wrestled her one time, and I'm gonna tell you, I had a I had a couple of cuts up under my eyes after her. So I was, I wasn't happy with that. 
It ain't cool trying to get Neil scoring and stuff right there on the crease of your bottom eyelid or the, the your top eyelid. And she almost scratched my, literally scratched the, the cornea. So that, I mean, the sclera, my bad, the sclera, the white part of the eye. So, yeah, I won't too happy about that crap. Uh, right now, Volante's new blue. Everything is holding up well. She's 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 chilling and she's wrestling. Point wise, you know, past the first match, but you know, for those that might not know now, you know, three points if you win, two if you draw, or lose at the same time. By any means necessary, you draw, and zero if you lose. So. Right now, the Peacemakers, they got three points. They got three Warriors in the day. They got six. If the Warriors can win, they'll have nine. That puts them much closer to the parent lands. And then they're going to have to hope. They're going to have to hope that the unrecidivized can throw a monkey wrench in the plans of the parent lands. That's what they're going to have to hope. So right now, the focus is... In truth, cause as much damage as you can in the shortest amount of time and get out of there. Serious chop. Oh, and throat chops. Rolls are over. Chops right in the... Man, he is taking it to Harkaloos. Oh, Harkaloos, she's like, I can do this too. He, she tried. She tried. She tried to use it to, to hit the Matriarch. The Matriarch's like, I ain't letting that happen. Race that face, Mr. Headbutt. Irish whip by Tiger. Shoulder block, low blow. I, I'd like to say it's unfair, but the way Tiger Lee go about it, wrist clicks, middle kicks, Irish whip, flat back drop kick right there by Nimbu, spinning shin breaker, and nice Frankensteiner. Another shin breaker. So, hey y'all, Frankensteiner is when you throw him down like that. Uh -huh. A uh, hurricane rana is when you trap the legs for the pin or you're in a rana position pinning them. Basically seated on their chest at the end of the flip. So that that's the difference. Just in case somebody wanted to know if there was a difference. Okay, it looks like yeah, Volantes is, is bleeding. Ooh, Centon. And, and, and Volantes, she's going to keep Matriarch off kilter. That is the best strategy if she can keep that going. Not on the right side of town, but at least she's putting in offense. Nimbu makes the tag to Ludicrew. Double drop kick. And I'm sure she's feeling happy about that. But she's in there with, with Petty Betty herself, the Matriarch. Throwing them back elbows. And those wrist clutch back elbows. Yeah, she yeah, she she's on Dream Street. It, yeah, she just realized Tiger Lee's in her. She's like, what? You can see that. Hook leg. Make sure I'm standing guard. Nope, she had to get out. And there goes Volantes right after her. Elbow. Multiple elbows to the and, and put her down. And look, breaking the fourth wall, not happy how that turned out. Too many tests, five, six months of testing, and it looks like that, I'm, I'm mad about that. Back to the drawing board. Man, elbows. That's, in, that's illegal right there, that's definitely illegal. Oh, he said, I don't care about that head, but <laughs> I don't care about that head, but put the knee to it, it's a strong knee. Hammer throw. Volante's got Tiger Lee in the corner. Basement drop kick. Frankensteiner. Spinning the shape breaker. She's working that combination. Centon. Sunset flip, that is. Or front flip, Centon. Double suplex to the outside. Nimbu goes. Make sure I give chase. She's like, I remember that. Oh, flying knee bomb. Just popped that off. Man of crawl in the ring. What you got to, you got to put the bat down. You don't need the bat. Oh. 
face crusher by Volantes. Tags in Ludicru. Double drop kick. Sunset flip. Make sure I look at you got all that hair. Cushion the blow from that. Falling on the handle of that bat. This is match seven of eight, everybody. Peacemaker's making it very difficult. Very difficult for Warriors of the Day. Rolls are over. Two. At least he did on the right side of town, though. Elbow to the back of the neck. Elbow to the back of the, the, the leg there. But actually, the Achilles got the cover. No. Bringing the two-on-one advantage makes it. Oh, oh they stopped the tag. No. She stopped that double team when she makes the tag. The Tiger lead. Tiger ejects. Ludacru from the ring. Figure four on Volante is in the ring by Matriarch. Oh, good grief. Quick low blow. Hey, she is biting her head. She got her up. Both the Tenzan Two-Stone Driver. I had no idea what she was going to do at the time. And Tiger Lee following it up. Matriarch to cause interference. Oh, only a two count. Man, rolling triangle choke. Tiger Lee with the guts. Knee drop. Man, knee drop. Stomping to the body. A knee drop. Unforgiving. Un unyielding. Also took on him. And then that figure, well, yeah, figure for a jackknife, but that rope break. Also called standing STO. Oh, copper kick. German suplex hold from ground. They, man, they are complimenting each other. And, oh, that was a save. That was a save for sure. Multiple standing switches. Side buster. Make sure I got a hold of Volantes. Up kick. She is on Dream Street. Just recovered in time. Says Matriarch into uh, Peacemaker's Corner. Oh, spinning. Yep, so, but caught her again. Like Matriarch was trying to get away, but she grabbed a hold of, of Harkaloos because Harkaloos was coming and pulled her way across the ring. Dragon Clutch. A little goodbye submission hole. And chewing on. Yeah, chewing on Tiger Lee. Diving elbow drop to the small of the bat by the matriarch. Tiger Lee mounts, floats, got her up. Knee strike to the face. Can she weather this storm? Matriarch interference. Dragon through net breaker. Make it two. Getting her up, make it three. Manhattan dropped by Harkaloo's headbutt. Ah, she's twisting that neck. And Matriarch, she stops that. Oh, Tiger Lee, why? Rolled her out the way. Matriarch missed. Hit, hit the chair. She is, she, yeah, she she ain't going to be too well. Ooh, multiple knee strikes to the body. And then applies an abdominal stretch, but that was broken up quick. But damage is damage nonetheless. And then she get the ghetto stretch in. Matriarch needs to get in. Two and whoa. I think that would have been three if she was. Oh! She popped her right across the eye. Right across the eye. Whoa. That. And the winners of the match. Warriors of the deity. Matriarch ain't even going to look at her. That was. Whoo. Mmm. Uh. Wow, that was brutal. We're going to have to take... Got to, oh, man. Volantes. That was mean. The matriarch, that was... Whew. Okay, look. I'm just stunned. We're going to get to the next match, but I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to take about a, a minute or two breather between because... Damn. So, for all intents and purposes, let's roll. Making their way to the ring. The unrecidivized. First, the Dominus Hell Knuckle, Freya Bost, and her partner, the Messy Girl Killer, Tabitha Gador.
and their opponents. The Parrot Land. First, from Ghana, Omeran Abejire and his partner from Jamaica, Akoni Patterson. Your referee for this match, Chuck Goose. All right, final match of the evening, everybody. Final match of the evening. And look, I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, it's 7.16 right now, my time. That's PM. <laughs> and we still, it's, hey, I'm gonna keep this going and keep this going. And this, I, I'm still stunned by the matriarch. Her actions, that's this just downright deplorable. I understand, I understand what Harkaloo's Ludicrum was doing. And if you want to pop off like that against someone like that, I get it. But not, not Volante's Nimbu. Not with what she's, not her history. You know, that's just, that's just not right. That's not right. Ooh. She got him by the face, punching him in, in, in the side of the head. And Abajide wards off that double team. So listen, right now, the parent lands, they are the point leaders. Point leaders at 12 points. The unrecidivized, they've only got eight. Um, you know, that uh, it was a thunder hand, unrecidivized. Double count out. That was Freya Bass and Mohan Bronson. They was just, they just battled out the ring. He got in and he got right back out and went after her. He, he didn't care. They had words in the back after the show. They was angry. And the security was having to break that up and whatnot. But I don't know what it is. She was just unhappy with him. If anybody, I mean, I would like to say maybe. Maybe, maybe she was just mad that Calvin Bronson has a, um, a, a, a few near wins over the Warden, but he, he, he hasn't won. You know, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I thought they were done with the Warden anyway, but... Whew. Right now, the parent lands, they have tag team congruity they know what they're doing they cut that ring off they compliment each other you know they get in there and they cause damage the big man stays in but not that long before making oh he got duped up he got duped up he got out the way and then patterson he'll he'll get in there and he'll he'll work it for a while Tag made, you know, I mean, he ain't really that beat down, IBG there. He's not even really that beat down, but still makes the tag. They got a formula. Big man stays in for a short time, and a Coney Patterson. That was just mocking. Just picked him up. A Coney Patterson, he stays in almost for a long haul, kind of, until he gets too beaten down. You get it? Yeah, he, he was trying to break that up. Uh, I spoke with Omeran Abejire, uh just talking in general about, uh, you know, uh, aspirations and whatnot. And he said that he wants to lose weight so he could be a little bit faster in the ring. But if he loses the weight, he loses a great deal of power. He believes that power is 70% of why they have done so well here in over in Africa and in Jamaica. So, I, I'm like, I hear you. I hear you and I get it. I'm like, I'm not a big dude like you, so if I lose the weight, I'm not going to lose power. I'm just going to gain endurance. And, you know, he's like, you know, <laughs> he's like, that seems like a reasonable reason to get started. I was like, hey, yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing to disagree with. Nothing to disagree with. Oh, nope. Carter. 
Oh, sacrifice the right into Akoni Patterson. Got her up. Net breaker right. Yep, net breaker power bomb combination. And Omiron got bashed up, knocked her down. Got her up again. And by she tagged. She don't stay in that long either. I haven't really paid attention to that. But she don't stay in that long either. Double close line. These two teams are... Look, they're having their hands full with the unrecidivized. The unrecidivized, they're all on them. I'm, I'm honestly thinking the wrestling skill of the Paramount team will probably overcome. Now let these headbutts don't stop. Good grief. Flying Mare got him up. Elbow standing switch. Flying Mare got him up. Trying something. Side headlock. Yeah. He blocked that and warded off that. Patterson got the door up. Trick me. And he she got he got duped up and she ran into a wall. It's pandemonium. Double tags made. These matches are 30 minutes. Uh, Coney tried that rolling lariat, but he opted to do something else, which was nothing. Especially when the target got messed up. <laughs> You try to be in that neck, not the throat. You don't close line or lariat the throat. Ooh, and she's she's fighting. Fred Bass don't back down. I mean, she was notorious for bludgeoning security guards, you know, in, in Charlotte maximum security. Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, down here in North Kakalaki. Running close line. He's got the tag. He's looking a little windy. Yep, he makes the tag and Voss makes the tag. So Godor and Patterson are in. Man, she just stole on him. Left straight for real. Oh, schoolboy roll up. Two. And I don't know if that was the same or not. Oh, he got duped up all around. Elbow to the back. Push it to the corner. Double team warded off. Makes the tag. Omaran in there. Double team warded off by Tabitha Godor. Omaran got the headlock. Elbow knocks knocks her down. Uh oh. When he starts doing that, they they getting ready. Oh, he got her. He got her. Choke slam. Stiff with put the body on him. Two and three and got her. And you're winners of the match. And heavy point leaders. The Parrot Lands. Parrot Lands, man, they, they just went up to 15. They just went up to 15. Man. Epic show. Awesome. We had our frustrations. We had our ups and downs, our joys. I am so tired, but I got to get this done and get this put up ASAP. I have to do that. Uh, it's 7:24 now, but look, this has been great. I hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed. All right, please like, share, comment. You know, you got critiques, throw them down there. It's all good. Give them to me. I can't get better if you don't talk to me. All right. So with that said, this has been Cedric for CR Wrestling, CR Wrestling Commentary, CR Fire Pro, CR Fire Pro Road, Pain and Agony Wrestling. All that good stuff down there in the description. Check it out. Check them out. I'm going to be adding someone soon. Before the next show, I will be adding someone that will eventually show up on this or anything that I might upload in between. Matter of fact, it'll show up on the road. I'll be showing, I'll be putting them up because they've been doing some good work. Shoot fighting uh, stuff. So that's good. Uh, you know, check me out on Spreaker. Just find that down there where it says podcast. I say it like that because it's all in cap. But yes, 
So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for your time, patience, and energy. Love you. Y'all share these links and whatnot. Show the love to the EFED community. So with that said, good night and see you next time.